Hello everyone, this is another episode. Hello everyone, this is another episode. Another episode. Listen to another episode of Let's Talk Sports with Tim McCain, where I have the special pleasure of interviewing very special guests. Good evening, good evening. You're listening to the Sports Cycle. You're listening to Believe in HBCUs. I believe. You're listening to another episode of Let's Talk Sports with Tim McCain, and I am here with Tony Loco Soto. How you doing today, sir? Feeling great, man. Hope you are. I'm well, I'm well, man. So I, I just want to um, first want to say uh, you are definitely multi-talented. You got boxing, kickboxing, MMA. What led you to the fight game? Honestly, it just I couldn't really skateboard anymore. I needed another another thrill I needed another rush I needed something that was gonna you know keep me motivated to keep moving forward and bettering myself and mixed martial arts and boxing was right there and it was right up my alley yes sir and when did you start um when did you start boxing and kickboxing uh you know it all started on the street to be honest yeah. and yeah. I, I was I was actually rather pretty good and you know I, I started over at a Tiger Showman's um, over in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, I started under uh, Neeson Levy, Jimmy Rivera, Mike Fischetti. You know, you might you might know uh, Jimmy Rivera, one of the UFC fighters. Um, trained under those guys, and you know, from there I went to Shooter Box Academy, over at uh, Class One MMA in Park Slope, Brooklyn, and I just kept leveling up. I kept taking fights, boxing, kickboxing, and I just kept going from there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what is it about Brooklyn? There's something special about New York and the fight game. Like, do you ever get that, like, sense of, like, atmosphere of, like, the greatness, that the tenacity that New York and Brooklyn brings? Oh, man, I love it. Just being out there. And, and there's one thing I could say, you know, fighting out of New York, fighting in New York is just like, it's just different. It's more grittier. You know, people want it more. We got more to prove. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I've, I've never had a back out in New York ever. I've never had anybody wow. back up. My fight's always been scheduled, always went through. Um, I kind of moved out here to North Carolina. I had six back outs in one year. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it was kind of, you know, a culture shock, you would say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, North Carolina, you know, we're building the, you know, I've talked to Adrian Soto Perez. The commission, you know, is is, is interesting. But, um, but North Carolina's on the come up for sure. Um, my next question to you is, which – fight style do you actually prefer which do you prefer mma do you prefer boxing kickboxing like and, and it's it's funny you ask that question because people say oh you know when you're ready to get back in the cage and you box and it's like i gotta be in the mood it's mm -hmm. more of those things like okay i'm gonna move to box right now okay okay i'm tired of boxing let's get back in that cage okay i'm tired of the cage let's get some kickbox it's what i'm in the mood to do because i primarily don't have a favorite i just like i just like going in there and putting on a show but it's got to be what I'm going to move for. It's like, you know, what's your favorite snack? Okay, I'm going to move for Reese's today. Okay, I'll go get a Reese's. Ah, fuck Reese's. I'm going to go and get me a, I'm gonna get me some Chips Ahoy's. That's how I look at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So where did the name Loco come from? It just went pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm out of my fucking mind. <laughs> and, it, and it goes perfect with my name, Soto. You know, and, you know, as a little kid, they, uh, the olders, the elders in the family used to call me Tormenta, which mm -hmm. means like, torment. So I was a little crazy. So I was like, I ain't going to call myself Tormenta. I barely even speak Spanish. I said, loco sounds good because I'm crazy. They're like, you know, that's pretty, that has a, has a ring to it. And it just, it just stuck with me for years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is it like? Um, you know, I, I see some of the stuff that you put out on social media. And there was something that I, I, I found really interesting when you made that, uh, when you posted that Rocky quote. When it, when it was about not, it's not about how hard you get, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep going. What does that statement mean to you? And, it, and it's funny because that's actually, uh, that, that, that quote means a lot to me because, you know, you can get in there, you know, you could have the speed, you could have the power, but you know what, I could have one thing that you don't have. I could have that heart, you know, I could have my timing, you know, and, that, and I feel like that overall, is going to win the fight. If you have heart and timing and, and you know, you, you can take some shots, 
and you can keep going and keep pushing forward, man, you, you're going to, you're going to come up on top. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what are some of the um, toughest battles that you've ever had? And was there ever a fight where you had to like push yourself to another gear to beat someone? I will always say this and hopefully he hears this Manny Gomez. Um, that was one of my hardest fights that I believe that was my kickboxing debut. Um, he about, I, I felt like I was winning the fight second round. He caught me with a head kick, made me look like a baby deer. Um, you know, uh, it was, it was one of those fights where I kind of wanted to, to redeem myself. We actually got scheduled for an MMA fight, which the show got canceled. So, mm. um, it just, it, it happens, but that's a fight that I wish I can go back in time and, you know, hopefully redo it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what has life like been like as a fighter during this pandemic for you personally? It hasn't changed for me. Nothing's okay. changed. I've never stopped. Mm. People making excuses. Oh, gyms are closed. I got a house. I got legs. I got outside. I got air. There's no fucking excuse. You get out there and you work. If you want something, you're going to get out there and work. And I want to work. And this is what I want. I wake up with a champion mindset and, and, and I keep pushing myself. I got a family. I got a job. I got to train. I make sure I have time for everything and I make no excuses. Yes, sir. So what, um, what led you to have that mindset to where no excuses, championship mindset? Where did that begin? Just became with just being, you know, growing up, you know, in Brooklyn, growing up struggling and, and seeing my mother, single mother, just, just, you know, put her pushing herself every day to better herself so she can better our lives has drive driven me to push myself to push, you know, my family to, to push my training, to push everything to better and be better and never settle. And that's, that's kind of the mindset I stay with. Never settle. Always keep looking for the, the, the bigger challenge, the, you know, the what's next. Got you. Got you. And how does family continue? How, do, how when you look at family um, and I, and a lot of fighters, they use family as motivation. How does family uh, motivate you as a boxer and in life? I honestly think I have the most supportive family of them all. My wife has been to every single one of my fights. My kids, my my twelve year old daughter boxes. My 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 seven year old daughter, she loves doing a little uh, uh, kickboxing here at the house with me. You know, my my seven year old gives me game plans right before I get into a fight. She says, "Daddy, I need you to hit him here. I need you to do this." You know, and the motivation is just overwhelming, and I love it because it shows that, you know, they're they're behind me. And the times that I'm not home and I'm training and, you know, so there are times when I'm not home and I wish I could be home, but they're supportive and they understand. So it, it, it really, it really feels good. It's, it's, I have a good supportive family over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And my last question to you is, so there's a, there's a little kid, he sees one of your fights and he's like, wow, I want to be like Tony Loco Soto. What kind of personal keys would you give him to be somebody like you? I, I would say, listen, you know, I'm a great person probably to look up at training, but you should be you because there's only one you mm -hmm. and you're the only person who's going to better yourself. So look in that mirror and tell yourself, I'm going to be better tomorrow and I'm going to be better the next day and every day, 1% better. And I feel like that's the best thing. That's the key I would tell them. Don't be me, be you and be better than me by being you. Wow. I like that. I like that. And when is your next fight? And uh, what are your expectations for it? November 21st, um, right over here at Fort Mill, South Carolina. Um, I'm going on to put on a show. I'm going in there smiling. I'm going in there happy because I'm always happy. When, when I know I'm about to fight, I'm in the best mood you can, you can see. And um, I'm going to put on a show. I don't think this fight's going to pass the first round. I'm, mm -hmm. looking for, I'm looking for another body shot knockout. Um, I'm trying to go in as the guy that's going to touch the body and pull people down. I think I'm going to be one of those guys coming up where they're worried about getting touched in the body and they're trying to block the body. Now what's going to happen next? Chin check. <laughs> KO baby. KO baby. So, uh, where can people find you on social media and everything like that? 
Okay, you can find me at uh, Instagram at Tony underscore Loco underscore Soto. On Facebook, I'm Tony Loco Soto. I do not use Twitter because I do not know how to use it. I've tried it. It is too confusing for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm available. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsors. I want to give a big shout out to Combat Legend, Forum Fitness, Intero Health, uh, Carabas of Huntersville. Just much love. Thank you for supporting me. I'm going to keep fighting, keep grinding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, good luck to you, Tony. I appreciate it, man. No luck needed. Hard work pays off. Yes, sir. Hard work pays off. <laughs>